Here we go, back again with another video, this time to do with the managerial situation and the person I think should replace Phil Parkinson. I'm on the water today, I've had about five pints last night. Raymondo's leave and do, didn't really stay out too long, it's not my scene. I did about four hours, which is quite good. Four, four, five hours, which is quite good. I wanted to get back and do the Sunday vlog, the Sunday video, but now today, I've, I've slept on the whole thing. I've had a good thing. And I think Phil Parkinson, is a lovely bloke and I wish him all the best in the future wherever he may go. And if he stays at Sunderland Football Club, if Stuart Donald decides to keep him, then I wish him all the best and he'll have my 100% support. But I just don't think he can motivate the side, get this team up for a fight, which is what we need in League One. So far, Phil Parkinson hasn't been able to motivate the side. He hasn't been able to set, set his stamp down on the team and he hasn't been able to do anything really anything more than Jack Ross could do. In fact, I'd say we've actually gone backwards under Phil Parkinson, which is really a crying shame because I wanted him to succeed. You want everybody who comes in as Sunderland manager to succeed, but you have to you have to admit and know when it's not working out. And it's not working out this moment in time. Now for me, like I said, I wish Phil Parkinson all the best in the future, but if it was my choice, and it's not my choice, but if it was the fans' choice, I'd like to see the majority of the fans for me, would like to see Kevin Phillips as the Sunderland manager. We have to give Kevin Phillips a chance. He wants to come as Sunderland Football Club's manager. Unless Nigel Pearson's taking him to Watford. I don't know what's going on in the background there, but it could be too late. But we need to strike now. We need to strike now and get Kevin Phillips, Super Kev, back at the club. But people say he has no experience. He's got his badge and coaches. He's been through, he's served his time at different clubs as number two. Now we need to give people chances in life. Kevin Phillips will have the respect of every single Sunderland fan. He'll put bums on seats. He'll have the crowd right behind him. Where at this moment in time, not many people are behind Phil Parkinson. He will inspire the younger players, the players at our football club. A hero growing up would probably would have been Kevin Phillips. Absolute legend at the club. He would inspire the youngsters, inspire the people who are there now. You know, he's, a, he's got a great head on his shoulders. Like some McGeady, Maguire will all respect and look up to Super Kev. Because he's got the CV, the golden boot, played for England. He's done, you know, obviously some of them can't play for him because they're Scottish, but he's done what a lot of players haven't even been able to get anywhere near. So for me, Kevin Phillips. Like I said, I believe in what Mickey Gray said. You have to give, how do you give new coaches a chance to succeed? People say, oh, he hasn't got no experience, but where do they get the experience from? I like to see new managers come in lower. I mean, you got your Frank Lampard who came in a derby, took a chance, succeeded, now he's at Chelsea. You got your, your, your Lamp, you got your, your Steven Gerrards. Gone straight to the Rangers, where majority of people would succeed up there. Now for me, if Kevin Phillips comes in at a lower level, and let's face it, we are at a lower level, League One, he will be able to succeed for me at Sunderland Football Club. He'll get this team motivated, these players now, they sort them out, organise them, instill them with some passion and belief, and we can, you know, become great once again. I believe he'd take us up into, into the championship, if not this season, but next season. The damage may already be done this season. He'll have contacts to bring some great players in, some good players, some wise heads. Who would he who would he be? Who would who would his number two be? Would it be Peter Reid? Could he bring Mickey Green as number two? Think of all the players that have retired with Kevin Phillips, who used to play at Sunderland Football Club. He'd actually have Alex Reyes. You know, people that I could come back as his number two. Absolutely fantastic footballers in their time. So for me, it's now time for Kevin Phillips to come back to Sunderland Football Club. He will always be a hero as a player. It's now it's time to put his stamp down as a manager. Let's have a little bit of fun, a little bit of an interview with Kevin Phillips, shall we? It's just a little bit of fun, you know. At the end of the day, this is all just my, basically my opinion on Sunderland Football Club. But let's have a little bit of fun. I'm going to interview now Kevin Phillips, Super Kev. So Kevin, what was your thoughts on Niall Quinn? A leader. You once described Sunderland as like playing in a fishbowl. You, you were like the messianic you know, hero at Sunderland Football Club. What was your thoughts on playing at Sunderland Football Club? What was it like? 
it's an incredible place to play football when it's going well. Um, and I remember Glenn Roder, who was at Newcastle when I, when I was at Watford, I said to him I had a chance to go and he said, listen, if you go up there and do well, he said, it's the best place to play football. He said, but let me warn you, if it doesn't go well, it's the worst place to play football. Got two words for you, Rodney Marsh. Well, I certainly proved Rodney wrong. <laughs> he said, in the 1999-2000 season, I may be wrong, you wouldn't score more than six goals. That did to me at the time, it inspired me to succeed and and I've had that all my career. Kevin, you've been in some absolutely great dressing rooms, but what was the liveliest dressing room you've ever been in? I would say probably the Sunderland at the time when Reedy was in charge. Um, and we had, you know, we had Alex Ray at the time who was going through his problem. We had Quinny in there, we had Steve Bold, we had Nicky Summerby, Mickey Gray. We had a great, great bunch, a great core of, of British players that would socialise together. Kevin, you were absolutely fantastic goal scorer. It's scoring goals, mainly down to instinct. My dad always used to say that one of his biggest sayings was you'll score more goals by passing the ball in the back of the net than you will by smashing it. And that's something that's stuck in my mind uh, forever. We have a little bit of fun with Kevin Phillips, but let's see some of his absolutely fantastic goals he scored for Sunderland Football Club. Now, like I said, I wish Phil Pattinson all the best. And if he stays at the club, we all want him to succeed, but it doesn't look good at this moment in time. But for me, I like to see, I like to give Super Kevin Phillips a chance. Stuart Donald, you've got to do the good thing. Get somebody that's going to put bums on seats, get the passion back at the club, fill the stadium. And believe me, if Super Kevin Phillips was back at Sunderland Football Club, he would have a packed out stadium. He'd bring the fans back. And believe me, with his passion, his knowledge of the area, the knowledge of the club, knowledge of the fans, he would turn this club around. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget, this afternoon, SFC Fan TV, we've got the Sunday Bunch. Please watch it tonight. It's usually uploaded on a Sunday night. Please subscribe to that channel as well. Great bunch of lads. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Super Kev. <laughs>